Now, our next guest is a billionaire and a banker with an interest in vodka. He is the chairman and owner of, uh, well, Russian Standard Bank, and an, he's estimated to be worth around $2 billion. Rustam Tariko, very warm welcome to The Pulse to you. So tell me a little bit about what is on your mind. We're at day three of Davos now. What is the big issue? What is the big takeaway from the, the meetings that you've been having, the people that you've been speaking to? You know, in all these times of uncertainty and the crisis, I believe it's also big opportunities coming out. So this is in my mind. I believe Western Europe today is a big opportunity to invest because everything's cheap, everything is available. So I'm very much about Western Europe. Whereabouts? Italy, first of all, because the country where I live for many, many years, so I understand this country well. <laughs> so both uh, drinks business and banking business there. Uh, is at very affordable prices. You like you like drinks and banking. Yeah, S don't like anything else. No. <laughs> 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 um, but no, in terms of not not literally, but in terms of investments. And but I suppose this would be this would run contrary to what a lot of other investors say. I mean, a lot of it take, so many would say it's, it takes courage to be heading into financials right now, particularly those in Western Europe. But you don't have any concerns. Yeah, you have obviously some uh, debt issues uh, which uh, obviously concerns everybody, not only me, but I believe the country like Italy will definitely overcome it. It's a very strong economy. They're very good consumers. I really like Italians. <coughs> they be saving well, they're spending money well, so I don't see any particular risk for me to invest in Italians. I know I saw you yesterday. Um we were walking around uh, the Russian outlook, and we can't really say what happened in there, but uh, it's, it's fair to say that a lot of people were pessimistic about 2012 and Russia investment. Where do you see investment in Russia uh, in the coming 12 months? Simply I believe they're wrong because the consumer confidence is very high in Russia. I see it from my both businesses. While 2008 was a shock uh, for Russians, but they uh, quickly understand that Russia doesn't have fundamental problems. We don't have debt. Oil prices are high. The economy is doing well. Not maybe the best way, but still doing well against all others. So, and what I see in many regions around the world, people are very quiet. Obviously, we are worried about elections more than economic problems today. How do you see the high-end market in Russia right now holding up the luxury market, you know, playing into the vodka It's more difficult yeah. because behavior of consumers change and if before we were buying all these uh, expensive uh, goods and services, today we're much more cautious, which is good. We became more or less aligned with the Western people. And what's your take on um, the political climate that's going on in Russia right now? Will Vladimir Putin win on the, on the first ballot? You know, I'm not a uh, professional, so difficult for me to comment. A lot of speculations about yeah. it. So I really don't know, not because I don't want to answer. Mm. But you said that you were more concerned perhaps about uh, political problems than the economic challenges, or at least the, the impact of... We, we were seeing protests, for example, in Moscow, and, uh, you know, we, we've had warnings about how this political instability can impact the climate for investment. Is that something that bothers you? You know, if we were to see protests and instability like that again this year? First, I told you about Russia, not about me. I'm not concerned much, okay. yeah, just to be precise. Uh, first, these protests are obviously uh, exaggerated by media. When you see on television a lot of people, but it's still very little number of people participating. It's an important event, and I believe uh, people have the right to express their discontent mm. with the elections of uh, Duma and so on. Um, but I would not exaggerate that there's a big movement going on in Russia and everybody in the house. It's not the case. So just before we leave you, give me, give me your top tip for 2012. What are you looking to invest in? Both in drinks and uh, banking business. Dr drinks and banking still? Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> and in Italy. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Rustam Tariko, thanks very much for joining us on the programme.